Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, David here, and today I am back with my second concert review on this channel. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the other one that I did, and hopefully you enjoyed this one, and if not, well, too bad. It's happening anyway. So, uh, where to get started with talking about this? Um, I went to see, well, let, let me just start by saying this. Um, I took a road trip up to Chicago this weekend with some friends, and uh, one of the reasons that I went to Chicago was to go see uh, a concert with my buddy Steven. And uh, we went to go see Protest the Hero, Thank You Scientists, and Closure in Moscow. Uh, we were mainly going for protest, but uh, you know, I'll get into the other bands later. So, uh, yeah, like I said, this was uh, in Chicago, like downtown Chicago, and uh, it was at a place called the, uh, the Bottom Lounge. Uh, this was my first time being in Chicago at all, so um, I had never been to this, excuse me, never been to this city, never been to this venue. It was all new to me. So, uh, you know, overall, the, the trip was, you know, pretty fun and everything, but uh, let's get to what you want to hear about and let's talk about the show. So, me and my buddy Steven, we get up to the venue, and, man, we're running late, and we're, like, really losing our shit about it, because just, like, it's taken my friend forever to get his car, and we were really worried that we were going to be too late, and we weren't going to be able to get our, uh, VI, we got VIP tickets. Um, I got the $60, my, my friend Steven, he got the $100, and, uh, he got a couple extra things, and a couple extra things than me. But, um, yeah, man, we were losing it because we were so afraid that we were going to be, like, too late to the show and not be able to get our stuff and everything. But, thankfully, we did arrive within plenty of time, and we got our stuff. And uh, I'm going to show you the things that I got after I get done talking about the concert and everything. So, um, so yeah, we get to the venue. It's a pretty decent venue. It's, like, nothing special or anything, but, like, you know, it's it's big enough. Sound was really good, and, you know, I mean... You know, like I said, not too small, uh, sounds good, uh, yeah, I mean, what more do you need besides that, right, for a concert venue? So, um, the first band comes on, and the first band to come on was Thank You Scientist. If any of you are not familiar with Thank You Scientist, this band is fucking nuts, <laughs> to, to put it simple. Um, they are from New Jersey, they are a progressive the best way to describe them is just progressive. They are fucking prog to the max, this band. Like, seriously. Um, so, yeah, this band, like I said, they're from New Jersey. Um, they had... How many members? I'm not going to count the members. I'm just going to um, tell you, like, what all uh, instruments they had in the band. So, this band had a singer, a violinist, a trumpet player, a saxophone player, bass one guitar player, and a drummer. So, uh, yeah. Quite a big, uh, quite a big, uh, lineup. Or not lineup, uh, but, uh, just quite a few members for this band. So, um, so yeah, like I said, they're, uh, just this, the best way to describe them is just progressive rock, but just very jazzy, funky, there's some metal in their sound here and there, in some of the riffing, and, um, I had heard, I was familiar with Thank You Scientists somewhat. Um, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of Periphery. Periphery was praising the shit out of these guys when they uh, joined them for their uh, their tour of Juggernaut back in 2015. I remember it was just shortly after Juggernaut came out. And they came out with this uh, little uh, video previewing the uh, previewing some of the songs and stuff. And it had the bands that they were going to be touring with. And Thank You Scientists was one of them. And to, to be honest, even though, like, I heard a lot of people were praising the hell out of these guys, I never actually went and checked them out until, uh, uh, until I, uh, know, until I knew I was going to go to this show. Like, once, when I decided to go to this show, that's when I decided to check this band out. Actually, I listened to, um, the first album I'd ever heard from them. I started with their latest full-length, Stranger Heads Prevail, I believe is what it's called. 
Um, yeah, sorry, I'm still, like, new to their stuff, so I don't really memorize all the song titles and album titles just yet, but I think that's it. But it's their latest full length that I listened to. It came out in 2016, and uh, I was just floored. I was blown away by just, just everything about this band. Just the musicianship was just insane. Everything was just really well produced, sounded great. The bass player is just godly, and he was live as well. And yeah, I was just really blown away and impressed when I heard this album. And when I saw him live, I had an idea of what I was going to get from this band. And yeah, th these guys just left my jaw on the floor, dude. Like, amazing musicians. And you know, it's not, it's not even like that amazing technical musicianship where it just comes off as showing off wankery oh look i can do all this i mean i guess it'll come off that way to some people but they but they have songs you know these songs have a purpose they have their meaning their structures every instrument had its place and at its had its moment to shine which was really cool um the violinist was like headbanging and everything whenever they would go into like the more aggressive kind of riffing and stuff which was great um, but yeah, man, this band was just, they blew me away. Just everything was on point from guitars, bass, drums. It just, like I said, prog, as prog as you can get, really jazzy, funky, just, yeah, man, these, these guys' influences is obviously all across the board. So yeah, that's Thank You Scientists. They were amazing. If you ever get a chance to go see this band live, Check them out, give them a chance, and go listen to their music. Especially if you're a prog fan, definitely check it out. Even if you only like just prog metal. Because I'm mainly a prog metal person. I, I mainly listen to progressive metal, and I don't listen to a whole lot of just prog rock. But this band is an exception because, again, they do have that kind of like metal sensibility in some of their songs. And it's really in that riffing, riffing every once in a while. Kind of reminds me of how, like, Good Tiger structures their kind of stuff. Um, if you guys are familiar with them. But yeah, that's... Thank you, scientists. Like I said, they were absolutely amazing. Just incredible musicians. Couldn't believe it. Uh, they were definitely the biggest surprise for me that night. Like I said, even though I had an idea of what I was getting into. So yeah, that's Thank You, Scientists. The second band to come up... To come on next was Closure in Moscow. I... Didn't really do a whole lot of research about this band. Um, all I know is when I looked them up on Last FM, they get compared to Protest, they get compared to Thank You Scientists, they get compared to Good Tiger, they get compared to... Uh, uh, the other bands uh, I can't really think of off the top of my head. But yeah, I was looking on Last FM, just looking at like what all you would compare them to and everything. But again, it's another progressive rock band. Their influences are all over the board, but... Um, to be honest, I wasn't really crazy about Closure in Moscow. They were decent. Their performance was fine and everything. The drummer and bassist is what I was paying attention to the most out of anything. The singer was kind of kind of flashy, kind of wacky acting, but uh, like his singing voice was fine, I guess. Um, so yeah, I don't really have any complaints with their set, but I wasn't really crazy about it. So yeah, that's Closure in Moscow. That's really all I can say about their performance. Uh, you know, it's a, just a progressive rock band. Um... If you like that kind of stuff, you might want to give them a listen. And now let's go to the main reason why me and my buddy went to this show. Protest the fucking hero. Been a big fan of these guys for a long time now. Um, and my buddy Steven that I went with, he's the one responsible for getting me into this band. And uh, what made this uh, show extra cool was they were going to be playing their album Fortress fortress from beginning to end because it was the 10th anniversary of this album for them and this and this show man and a lot of other dates sold out like that pretty crazy but um uh, protest the hero they definitely did not disappoint and they easily were the highlight for me that night without a doubt i mean thank you scientists was incredible but you know, protest is what I was looking forward to the most, and that was the show I ended up enjoying the most. And this is the first time I had ever been up front for a show, 
And man, it was exhausting. I did not, like, protest came on, and as soon as they start, they went into the first song, which was Blood Meat, the fucking crowd just went nuts. And like I said, me and my buddy were right up front, right behind the barricade or whatever, and we were getting fucking pushed just so much by all these people, because the pit, I'm pretty sure, just started immediately as soon as they started the song. And, yeah, man, this crowd was rowdy as fuck. Like, not, like, in an asshole kind of way, though. Like, they weren't rude or anything. They were just, they were into it. They were just fucking really, really aggressive. But, um, yeah, man, I had never experienced anything like this at a show before. I just, I felt like my fucking body was going to explode with how much I was just getting pushed by all these people. But I was still... I was still enjoying it to the fullest. I was fucking headbanging like a motherfucker, especially when they played the song The Dissentience. Um, you know, like I said, they played that entire album from beginning to end, and they played a couple of extra songs. They played, they also played Sex Tapes, and they ended with Skies off of Volition, which I thought was a really, really cool song to end with. So, um, yeah, Protest the Hero, again, everything was on point from the guitars, bass, drums, to Rhodey Walker's vocals. It was all incredible. And I wasn't even that familiar with the bassist and drummer that they had because it's not the uh, original guys. It's the two guys that recently played on their uh, latest release, the Pacific Myth EP, which um, I will... We'll get to that in a minute. But, um, so yeah, Protest the Hero did not disappoint, not even a little bit absolutely fucking awesome performance and like i said they really got that crowd going that was a hardcore protest crowd that was that was nuts man but um afterwards uh i got to i got to buy some merch so did my friend and uh we also got to meet talk with and take some pictures with uh, the two guitarists uh luke and tim and by the way, if you guys ever come across this video, we thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you guys so much for putting on such a fucking awesome show. It is one I will never forget. And it was definitely uh, one of my favorites. Like I said, just that, uh, that whole being up front experience. I just could not believe just how I felt afterwards. I just felt fucking just annihilated. But at the same time, I, you know, it wasn't like aggravating or anything. I just, I still just jammed the fuck out and I had a great time. So, yeah. Did bother. The only thing that was really bothersome, honestly, was uh, there was a lot of crowd surfers that kept coming up, so I kind of had to, you know, keep, like, ducking and watching behind me. Thankfully, a security guard gave a signal, like, doing this whenever somebody was about to come up, so those security guards, those are, they're fucking lifesavers, man. They really made sure everybody was uh, safe and sound. But, um, so yeah, like I said, we got to meet the two guitarists, talk with them, take some pictures with them and everything. That was really cool. And uh, now I'm going to show you the, uh, the merch that I got for my uh, VIP uh, ticket that I got. So first, we have the poster. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty big poster. Um, and you got the tour dates on the bottom here, and it is also signed by all the members, which is really fucking cool. It says Chicago down there. Next, I picked up their, uh, their Pacific Myth. I'm really sorry about this glare. I'm, like, doing my best here. Yeah, the latest EP, Pacific Myth. Check it out if you haven't. Unfortunately, that was the only CD that they had available. I really wanted to get Fortress on CD, but sadly, wasn't available. Um, maybe they sold out of them all. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I took what I could get, and thank you, Steven, for getting that for me. Because I had no money. And uh, here's my VIP pass. And again, got the tour dates on the back and everything. And last I got that came with this uh, VIP package was the shirt. Really fucking cool artwork like that. And once again, tour dates on the back. So, uh, yeah, this was a really, really fucking fun show. Um, like I said, uh, 
Closure of Moscow, I wasn't too crazy about, but I had no complaints with their performance. They they played fine and everything. It's just, you know, I just wasn't really into it that much. Just not my kind of thing. But uh, thank you, scientists, and protest the hero. And protest the hero especially. They, like I said, protests were the highlight that night, without a doubt. But uh, let's see. Is there anything else I want to add to this? No. I, I think that's about it. Just... Uh, if you haven't heard of these bands and they sound like something interesting to you, check them out. And again, that's Thank You Scientist, Closure in Moscow, and Protest the Hero. So yeah, check them out if you're interested, especially Protest the Hero, man. If you're a progressive metal fan and you dig the modern progressive metal fan, or the progressive metal fan, fuck. <laughs> the progressive, the modern progressive metal stuff, um, you know, if you like Periphery, if you like Sit, between the Buried and Me, definitely check out Protest the Hero. They definitely deserve to be at the top with all those, in my opinion. Um, I can't wait to go. I hope I get to go see this band again. That'd be awesome. I'll go see him as many times as as my buddy Steven wants to, because he fucking freaks off this band. This is like his favorite band. And um, later, uh, I probably will be uploading some videos that he recorded uh, cause I couldn't really record on my phone or anything because I was just getting pushed around so much. I don't know how the fuck he managed to hold his phone still and get the videos and everything, but he managed to get two songs in full. And he said I can upload those to this channel if I want, so I will be doing that sometime soon. I don't know exactly when, but I'll get them up here for you guys to see. And they turned out really well. They sound great. They look great. Uh... Very uh, surprising quality that came from that, from, you know, a phone. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I guess that's going to do it for this video. That is my concert review. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching. So, uh, you guys take care. Have a great day. See you later.